Hi everybody, this is Susie with the Stacy Sour Team and we are here today, uh, this is our first charity spotlight and we are so excited about it and it's very dear to our hearts. And I'm Stacy, and this is my friend Dennis and he is not only going to talk about his charity today but he is one of my favorite people on earth. One of my very first clients when I got into real estate 27 years ago and he still loves me. <laughs> still love me. That's right. Perfect. Well my name is Dennis Cramper and I'm the camp director for Camp El Tesoro de la Vida, which means the treasure of life. Uh, camp El Tesoro is a grief camp for kids who have lost a parent or sibling due to death. Um, we're a week long. What makes us a little unique is that we are a week long grief camp. A lot of grief camps that you hear of are weekend events. Right. But we bring in about 80 volunteers, um, eight licensed professional therapists. And last year we had 130 kids. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so I've been uh, privileged to get to go to your fundraisers and what I notice is, uh, tell us about how much it costs to send one kid to camp. Yeah, the cost is right at $700, $695, which is what we charge the kids. The true cost is closer to, it's over $900. Um, when you think about the expense of, we have horseback programs and archery programs and arts and crafts and I have to feed 210 people and I've got to feed the horses and I have to buy chemicals for the water and um, we actually pay our therapists um, because they need to maintain their license so we can't um, do that for a volunteer basis. So it's an expensive venture. So the cost that we charge the families isn't actually our true cost and we fundraise to make up the difference. Tell us a little bit maybe about uh, a child that has made an impression on you and how it's changed their life. You're going to make me cry. I know. Right, I okay. cry every time I'm there. Uh, yeah, there's a couple every year that they tease me that there's some little kid that I want to kidnap and bring home. <laughs> um, several years ago, we had a little boy that was here from Russia and he won't. Um, he actually watched his mother um, kill his sister, um, drown her, and thought he was going to be next. Um, I don't know the situation, how he got to the U.S., but he made it to the U.S. Um, just a beautiful little boy, was in foster care at the time. Um, I fell in love, um, wanted to bring him home. In fact, the therapist caught me looking through his file, I'm like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm taking him home. And they said, Dennis, that's kidnapping. And I went, I don't care, I'm taking him home. Um, but just a, a beautiful little boy. And, and luckily, right after camp was out, um, he got adopted. So right. he was with a loving, wonderful awesome. family. But yeah, I fell in love with him, and I could, I could tell you millions of others. We just had a wedding. One of our um, girls got married, and she actually met her um, current husband at camp. Wow. Um, her, her father was a police officer, killed in the line of duty. Um, and so she came back to volunteer, met her husband, got married. So that's amazing. Story. Good story. I think for me, being a previous school teacher, and you don't realize how these um, things, events, impact children and they really don't have someone to talk to about it that's on their level. And when they get to go to camp and they have other kids that have gone through the same things, I'm gonna get choked up. <laughs> then it just really makes them feel not alone. It, 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 I think it really begins to help them heal and it's so important. And as you said, it helps to know that you're not alone in this feeling. I mean, these kids think, um, nobody understands how I feel and at school it's not safe to say, that my dad died or my mom died or my little sister. Um, a lot of the boys, if they're the oldest boy, they now have to be the man of the family. And you're not supposed to cry or, or the girl has to take on the responsibility of being the mother of the family. And so we say at camp, we just want to be a kid first and a career second. So no matter what your role is at home, you're just here to have fun. Um, part of the day is certainly therapy and the therapy for an hour there with a the therapist. But we just wanted to have fun. We wanted to hike and swim and do archery and um, it's safe to laugh. Sometimes in the home it's not safe to laugh because everybody's so sad. Right, right. Um, so that's our goal. Well, we're thankful for Dennis for coming here and sharing his uh, information about his camp. And I've never met Dennis, so this mm -hmm. is the first time I got to meet Dennis. He's awesome. Uh, so any of you that uh, are interested in donating or volunteering or maybe you know a child that uh, would be in need of this camp, um, please feel free to click our um, website down below for any information and we'd love to uh, get in contact with you. Yeah, so thanks so much for coming Dennis. Thank now you. it's your turn to tell them how great we are. <laughs> oh my gosh, best realtors in the world right here. Promise. Best Promise. house here. Okay, thanks. It's true. <laughs>